So, a boring operation or drill, first center drill, then I'll try directly with a, uh, well, this a one inch uh, drill, brand new. Of course, that's not what you want to do, brand new you want to step drill, but I'll try this just for the fun of it. So, center drill can be, of course, I can use the same setting as I have here now. Just taking off the two poles for clarity. And then this uh, long throw uh, tailstock is now coming into uh, coming in handy. And this is an aluminium piece. I didn't have any other pieces suitable. Probably okay. and then this overly long drill. This is, uh, I mean, way too long, but uh, anyway. Directly MT3 taper. So, I mean, it's uh, kind of longish. Getting a good view here. And I'll try and slow speed. It will stall now. Let's see. This it doesn't cut properly, as you can see. So I gave it a uh, little bit uh, more RPM up to normal. This is uh, 200 RPM. Better. Of course, it is not uh, too much. Uh, I mean, directly from a step drill to a, a one-inch drill. But anyway, I just wanted to see if it would perform, and it does admirably. Actually. require some uh, I mean reduction in RPM let's uh, it was now from 202 down to 197 so 5 RPM down and um, but of course this is not the normal way to go but just to show so I think with this setup um, with the low speed like this even at the belt uh, length like I have here it's uh, useful uh, I have another one of these uh, yeah cutoffs so I can truck up that and do the same operations I did on the on the um, Chinese machine with this little bit smaller drill because uh, this is an MT2 and this is also an MT2 but I think 20 millimeters so you see um, quite a hefty uh, bit but we can do it uh, here I think and just check up this one here just uh, turn the jaws around. And the track here is a British made uh, crown. I bought it at, um, at the Midlands Model Engineering Show. I just uh, needed to adopt. Uh, this is a temporary backplate until I can get these Myfords ones to, to fit. A uh, little bit shallow, I like that, but um, they also then inhibit uh, uh, actually the movement of the jaws at the very very uh, inner play, uh, they say small diameters it doesn't bother me really that much but and this is as I said uh, four jaws so interchangeable 
tools and mysteriously I have uh, misplaced the key where is it there right in front of me fantastic and um, just moving into picture you see I have my hat on it's not because it's cold um, using a sweater and a hat but rather because I'm getting uh, rather wimpy in my old uh, older years so I just adjust uh, this and then fit this here like so not really needed to, to have it uh, let's say precisely mounted but can try I mean I'm just uh, showing a, a drilling operation anyway okay or is it called boring never understood the difference between boring and drilling maybe you natives can call can contact or comment what is really the correct word to use is okay. yeah that's okay I think I'll just do away with this tool and then get uh, move you a little bit around and um, we just try with this directly it may wobble a little bit let's see and I'm trying first with the um, lowest non back gear speed which is um, let's see two ninety nine three hundred rpm I'll just set this here. Set the tail stroke, I mean. Okay, and then try. Of course, not, not how you should do it. I mean, uh, from the start here, but as you see, it slips. But of course. So there we have a. Um, key here that goes into the or out so I'll move it out so I otherwise the spindle is locked to the system here and now instead I have to take the back here uh, engagement here so I have another one here and I'll just move this in Okay. So now what happens is that you drive it slower. Then I will try the highest back gear speed first. Or nine. Let's say the middle. So it doesn't uh, give me any disadvantage. So it's one to one here and then reduction with the back gear. Try again. You should make it a wee bit uh, more powerful. So I'm just feeding with the hand wheel here. As I said, this is just to prove to see when it stalls. And until now, it hasn't stalled. At least. So you see, this is a fair bit. If not stronger, at least as strong. And you see the advantage with the back here. Really. So look away from the wobbling here because I didn't center it properly. Just 
think about how much force you can apply with this it's really fantastic on such a small machine to have this ability I think I've proven it now This is the back gear system. So we're routing the power through this gear over to this gear and this gear over to this gear again, meaning loosening the, the connection between this and this gear. You can see they run at different speeds. And that provides a significantly stronger um, uh, torque or uh, <laughs> higher torque stronger um, machine